Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a back to school haul. Well, this is a back to school clothing haul. I've started to get my actual school supplies. He's eating my shirt. Okay. And my hair. I've started to get my actual, like, school supplies. But that will be a separate video because I still need to get some stuff. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. I don't know where to put him. Okay, we'll just have to do this with him on me. So, the first store I'm going to be talking about is Forever 21. And I've told myself that I'm just going to stop shopping there. Because I feel like a lot of the things that I end up getting, I don't wear as much as I would like. Just because sometimes the quality and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Harry, there's going to be fur all over this shirt. Anyways, but I did get multiple things from there, so... Harry, can I please sit you down? Can I sit you down, little buddy? The first thing from Forever 21 is, like, me branching out, basically. Oh. It is this bodysuit. It has this flower print on it, and it's just, like, a t-shirt, basically. Pretty simple. Somehow, this is branching out for me. This is, like, different for me. But I thought it would be perfect for back to school. I'm going into high school, so we won't have like a dress code. That's just how my high school works. But still, it's like t-shirts. So it's like not a tank top. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is that if you do have a dress code, then you're good if you wear this shirt. And also, it will keep tucked into your shorts or your pants or whatever you're wearing. It's really helpful. The next two things have straps like this, but you'd wear them with like a sweater or something, so it's fine. But this tank top, the reason this tank top is in a back to school haul is because I really needed like a tank top because I don't have a lot of tank tops. But this one reminds me a lot of fall just because of the color and this would be really cute if you just threw over a sweater and it would be in dress code if you did that the next thing i don't know if i'll ever wear this to school but it's a thought but it is just this black simple dress and i thought it was really cute also like with a jacket that's later in the fall thrown over it it would be really cute just simple who knows if i'll ever wear a dress to school harry that seems dangerous the last thing i got from forever 21 is much more fitting for the fall i wish i could wear it now i tried to it was really hot this is the sweater it's actually a really good material and hopefully i'll do a try on the only problem i have with this sweater is because literally this is how much is on your shoulder like sometimes it kind of just falls off your shoulder and it looks weird because it comes to a point right here but as long as you keep it on your shoulders properly then it's good so it's not like an off the shoulder kind of thing but yeah it's actually really cute i guess i'll feature this because why not so these socks i got from forever 21 and the reason i got these is because i got I just realized something. I just realized I have a pair of shoes that I need to feature in this haul. I'll show those later and this will make sense. But I got a white pair of tennis shoes and when I wear normal socks, because I have like a ton of just weird socks, it's really the only socks I have, it looks a little harsh like next to the bright white. So I got these pair of socks, like kind of like fashion socks. And so it will like go with outfits. So if I want my outfit to look decent, then I'll wear these socks. And then I also got a pair of earrings. They're like these flowers. You know what? And I must say, I really appreciate the backs of this because it just flips open like this and you close it. That way you never lose the back. And also it's really easy to put on. These are what they look like. They're a little big for me, but you know, they're cute. My cat is in a box. Hey, Harry. He's sitting on some of the clothes that I need to show. The next store I got things from was Urban Outfitters. And one of the things that I got from Urban Outfitters is literally, literally my favorite thing of this entire haul. It's the most perfect thing ever. It is this jacket. It is the most expensive thing in this haul. But it was totally worth it because I don't really have like a good jacket that I love just to throw on that's really cute. Like there was that whole teddy coat trend and i really wanted one but they're all so expensive it was just a really cool like fuzzy comfy jacket that was easy to throw on that's also like cute 
And so I've been looking for something like that for a while. And I found this, which is like this lemon colored jacket. It is just like a giant, like oversized, comfy corduroy yellow jacket. And yellow is my favorite color, so... Yeah, it's so cute and it's so different. Like, who else has this? I mean, soon, probably a lot of people. Just kidding, but like, watch this become a thing. Then I would be sad. You know, I get excited about a new jacket and then suddenly it becomes a thing and I'm like, I thought it was unique. And I realized I really wasn't. <laughs> But anyways, it's just so cute and it's a perfect staple, even though it's like bright yellow, but like it'll be great to have in the fall because I'll have, I'll actually have a good jacket to throw on. And also it's really good quality because I got it from Urban Outfitters and they have really nice stuff there. The cat is still in the box. The next thing I got, the reason I got this was because I have another shirt that's kind of like it. This one's different though and it's a different color, but um, I think that these pieces are like such a staple for school really because it's really comfy here's what it looks like it's one of the comfy button-ups from urban outfitters it's really comfy it's good for when there's colder weather and it's great because you want to be comfortable in school but it's still really cute and pretty flattering so i think it's just a really good staple because you want to be comfortable while you're suffering the last thing from Urban Outfitters wasn't really from Urban Outfitters, but it was. My cat is sitting on it right now. But I got it off of Poshmark because they didn't have it on Urban Outfitters anymore. And it was something I really wanted. Oh, my cat is getting really comfortable. God. They're these really comfy pants. They're plaid. Really cute. They're just super comfortable. And I love that. Yeah, I'm going to say those are from Urban Outfitters. But really, they're from Poshmark. Anyways, the next store is Brandy Melville. So the first thing is actually the shirt I'm wearing. I decided to wear it because why not? It is the Joanne top, I think. I think that's what it's called. I might have forgotten and just made that up. But it is just this. Now you can see that I'm wearing pajama shorts. Also from Brandy Melville. But it is just this cropped black t-shirt with a little zip up. Yeah, this is very different for me, and I really like it. Oh, should I have been sitting like this? Wait, how am I sitting now? I was sitting, really. This is kind of random, but I also got this. I have gotten this before. It's literally my favorite necklace ever, but then I never took it off, and some stars starting to fall off, and it got all dark, and it was no longer gold, and it was really sad, and I had to stop wearing it because I looked really bad. I guess we'll just continue on with the accessories and get those out of the way. So I got this belt. More star things. I love stars. I, this is like my first belt. Um, yeah, this is a big moment. I really, really needed a belt. I finally got one. I've tried to order this before. And one time I ordered a belt that also had some kind of star detailing or something like this. It was from, I think it's called like Pepper Mayo. Anyways, I saw some YouTuber with it. I ordered it and it never came. It still hasn't come and I and that was about like six plus months ago. So it's never coming. But now I have this and I'm so excited. The next thing I got, I already stained. So I need to wash it. <laughs> it has coffee stains on it. <sighs> but it's so cute. It is this white crop tee buttons all the way down. And it has a little collar. It's really cute. Um... Perfect for back to school because I was wearing it with plaid pants the other day and I looked like I was in a school uniform and I loved it. With this, I've really been loving collars. So perfect for back to school. But anyways, just wear it with high-waisted things like both of these so that your stomach's not showing and you're good. But yeah, this is just so cute. I'm in love with this. I think this is the Caroline top. I think this is the last thing I got from Brandy Melville. But this is the wind top. And I am in love with it. It's actually so flattering. Um, yeah, like when I tried it on. I want to get other colors now. They have this rainbow one. And I was shocked I didn't get it in the first place. Because I wanted to. But I really want to get more. It's so cute. It's one of those lettuce edge tops. Which are probably like not a thing anymore. I remember when that was a thing. I really wanted to get into it. But I couldn't find good things. And this one is really good quality. So it actually looks really good with the lettuce edge. And i'm in love like everything else i got but it's just this in this really cute baby blue color super stretchy super comfortable also perfect for school because it's just a t-shirt 
a comfy t-shirt that you can throw on but it is cuter and it's like flattering but it's also like casual and it's just like a perfect mix between cute and casual so that you can be cute in school and not feel uncomfortable my cat fell asleep in the brandy melville box oh i still need to get the shoes hello this is me editing somehow i have no idea how i forgot to mention these pants they're from brandy melville this is the actual last thing that i got from brandy melville they're so cute i love them they're borderline too small, so I can't wear them after I've eaten a ton of food, so success. The Brandy Melville only has one size. They really need to work on that, and I'm waiting for the day where they have more sizes, like they're actually like a normal brand. They're just these plaid pants, and I love wearing my new belt with them because they are like normal pants. Oh, also, these are the pants I was talking about before when I was wearing them with the white cropped collar tee where I said I looked like I was in a school uniform. Another thing is, I do understand that Brandy Melville is like one size fits all and it's made for like teens and stuff, but teens are not all the same size, so I don't think that's a good enough explanation for it because one size obviously does not fit all. And a lot of people also like to defend it by saying one size fits most, which that also shouldn't be a thing because most people shouldn't just be able to wear clothes. Everybody should be included to wear these clothes, not just most. That's my little rant for today. I know I shouldn't be the one talking because I do really like their clothing and I order a lot. Well, not a lot. And I would be kind of a size that would fit into their clothes. But, like, I shouldn't be the only one or only size to enjoy their clothing. Like, obviously, I don't even fit into all of their clothing. It's just disappointing. I'll be right back. I'm back. So, I got two new pairs of shoes. One which I did pay for with my own money. But these beauties, I did not because these are, like, my shoes for back to school. I am so in love with these shoes, they are so beautiful. They are just all white Nikes. I have no idea what like kind. They have a little check on it, which is like kind of shiny. It literally goes with everything in this haul and it literally just ties together every outfit. It makes it so perfect. It makes it seem really fashionable, but like you actually didn't try. You can hear my dogs. But I am just so excited. I have been wearing them so much because I can't help it. They're just so cute, I love them. So yeah, these are just some all white Nikes. I think they're such a staple for like, yeah. And then the ones I purchased with my own money are these Adidas. My mom was really pushing me to get them. <laughs> they're really cute. They're just perfect athletic shoes and they're great for school because you would normally end up wearing like comfy shoes like this. They're just so cute. They're definitely my colors, like also, I got both of the shoes at Nordstrom Rack, so they're like kind of cheaper. Anyways, I think that's all I got. Like I said, there will be a school supplies haul coming soon once I have everything for that. But anyways, yes. Yes. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I just got some clothes for back to school, so I'll be prepared. I'm really, really trying to go back to school. Please help me. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Also, I really want to do a back to school lookbook. So definitely comment down below or give this video a like if you would want to see that. And yeah, goodbye.